Hi, welcome to this video where I'll show you how to use the intersect and zero functions on the TID9 Titanium. First turn your calculator on, choose the Y equals editor. If you're not on the app screen to begin with, you can always press the green diamond key in F1. Now that we're here, let's enter this first equation. So it's x squared, x squared, and then plus 3. Enter, and now I'll enter the second half of this equation as y2, which is y2 equals 7, green diamond, and f3 to graph. It'll take a little while to graph this. It'll say busy in the bottom right hand corner. And when this is done, press F5. Intersect is number 5. First curve. It really doesn't matter what you select, just make sure there are two different curves you're selecting. Lower bound, I'll just choose right here. And for the upper bound, let's estimate it. Or we can either type in a number or just scroll over to the other side of this intersect. So we can see 3 would work, so you can just enter 3. We just need one point on the left side of the intersect, one point on the right. And the intersect turns out to be 2. Okay, and very similar to find the other intersect, press F5. Intersect is number 5. First curve, doesn't matter. Second curve, make sure there are two different curves. So, I want on the left of this intersect, right here where my mouse is. So one, two, three, four. So I can enter negative four. I'll be on the left of it, and if I enter zero, I'll be on the right of it. And x turns out to be negative two. Okay, easy as that. Let's go back to y equals. Clear these out. Okay, second equation. x squared, x squared plus x minus 6. Enter. Now instead of entering y equals 0, that will just be the x-axis, so I don't need to enter that. Okay, so graph this. It'll say busy in the cor right hand corner again. And now once this is done, press F5. And this time I'm going to use the 0 function. So press 2, lower bound, right where it is. Upper bound, just scroll over and choose on the other side of where it intersects the x-axis, or y equals 0, same thing, and press enter. And the 0 turns out to be x equals 2. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the other 0. Press 2. Lower bound, this time we need to go significantly more to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll do negative 5 to be safe. Okay, and then on the other side, 0 will get me on the right side of that. And the 0 turns out to be x equals negative 3. It means it crosses the x-axis at x equals negative 3. Okay, and now for the last equation. Let's go back to y equals. Clear this out. Okay, x squared x caret squared plus 3x, so plus 3x, enter, and I'll enter the second half of the equation is y2, y2 equals 10. Now let's graph this, green diamond in F3. I'll say busy again, and we'll graph our two lines. Okay. Once this is done, press F5, select intersect, number 5. First curve, second curve, lower bound. And upper bound, I'll estimate to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And the 0 is at x equals 2. x equals 2. Okay, one last one. F5, select 5 for intersect. Let's see here, first curve will be this one second curve. Lower bound, I will estimate to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's negative 6. And on the upper bound, let's say um, negative 2. Just from guesstimating here. 
and the intersect as x equals negative 5. Negative 5. And these are the answers.